Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Congratulations, class of 2026. We are so, so happy that you could join us tonight, and we are excited to welcome you to Gettysburg College. My name is Caitlin Beach. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Gettysburg College, but I'm also welcomed by our wonderful Cindy Wright and a current student to, that will share a little bit about campus recreation and the well-being program. Thank you again for joining us for the campus recreation and student well-being panel. We are here to answer some of your questions throughout as well. We will be using the Q&A feature for your questions. Also, please note that the session is currently being recorded. Now I'm going to turn it over to Cindy Wright for the rest of the presentation. Well, hello everyone and welcome. We are so excited that you took time out of your day to come to this presentation. We realize how critically important your time is and for you to come and spend it with us is an honor and we promise to make it worthwhile. I want you to know that I wore orange and blue specifically for you all tonight because I want to welcome you to Gettysburg College. I am going to explain about the campus recreation program and I have a rock star student that is with me that will also be talking about the overarching well-being program and how we set our programming up. So just like um, you just heard, my name is Cindy Wright, and I, my title, official title, is Director of EES Student Success and Wellbeing. I am within the Department of Athletics and Campus Recreation here at Gettysburg College. I will share with you in a moment about all the different programs we have, but first I'd like to have Michelle introduce herself as well. Hello everyone. My name is Michelle F. Ohanwadi and I am a current student here at Gettysburg College from the class of 2025. Um, today I will be talking with you about um, sport medicine. I currently work um, in the Atlantic training room where we facilitate um, and help the athletes be better prepared for sport. And also, I'm a student ambassador for National Wellbeing, which I will talk to you more about. And I am also a current um, chair committee for the International Student Association. I major in biology and environmental science, and I am from Liberia. It's nice to have you all here, and congratulations to the class of 2026. Thank you, Michelle. And you're going to hear from Michelle in a, in a minute after I talk about all of our different programs. So let me share with you why my title happens to be Student Success and Wellbeing, because we realize how important it is for you to come to college, but we also know that it is a snippet of time in your life that you will be with us and it will go really fast. And we wanna make sure that we are setting you up for success long after you graduate from Gettysburg College. And the way that we do that is that we think about well-being and the dimensions of well-being and everything that we do. Why does our program exist? Well, I'm going to share you with you about these different dimensions of well-being and how we think about that when we are thinking about the various programs that we have offered. So when you think about well-being and you think about having a life that is thriving and flourishing, we don't want you just to graduate from Gettysburg College with a degree, although that would be nice, right? But as you walk across that stage and we are cheering you on after four years, we also wanna make sure that we have given you the skill sets and the tools to set yourself up for life. And we pay attention to these specific domains of well-being. So one of them is called the social well-being. And there are a lot of different models out there when it comes to well-being, but these are the ones that we are particularly focused on. And when you think about our programming in campus recreation, the first thing that you probably think about is, yes, they're physically active. Yes, we are. But we are also creating an amazing social network. From the moment you are stepping onto this campus, we are encouraging you to grab a friend or just come over to the fitness facility and work out or join our flag football program. 
and you start to make these great, beautiful connections with one another. You have friends to go off into the dining hall and eat with and people that you can really enjoy and spend time with. The physical aspect of our program is pretty easy. And I'm gonna share with you all the fitness facilities that we oversee. And in every program that we offer, they're pretty active. So you are moving and you are um, getting a lot of great exercise. You know, you think about community and right now you're all in your communities back where you're um, going to school and there's a sense of community where you're at. Well, we are working hard to make sure that we are creating a community here at Gettysburg College that you see yourself in, that you feel like you belong, that you see people that are like you, that have values like you, and that this is a place that you are thriving in and not just, like I said, going and getting a degree. The sense of purpose is really packaged in a lot of ways. And when you think about why you're here in life, you think about why do I want to, um, how am I going to thrive in my life? Well, all of us need to have a feeling of a sense of purpose. We often package that with the academics because when you come to college, obviously you are paying for an academic program as well. And so, yes, you're going to get a degree, and yes, you're going to have amazing classes with um, phenomenal professors, but the sense of purpose is, you know, how are you going to make a difference in the world, and how do you want to make your mark, and, and feeling that joy that comes from excitement of doing internships and externships and studying abroad, and, and those are the things of sense of purpose. And Michelle, I have to say, I'm going to totally give her a shout out at this moment because she is going to talk to you about financial well-being. And a lot of people think, huh, you're talking about financial well-being in a campus recreation program? Well, yes, we are because we recognize all of us have to have these dimensions firing in, on all high levels if we're going to feel like we're really in a good place. And finances is huge. And Michelle is going to talk about a tool that we have at Gettysburg Michelle volunteered to be our student financial well-being ambassador. She raised her hand as a first year student to offer to do that. It was the first time we ever offered a position like that. And Michelle said, sure, I'm gonna help other students recognize how important financial well-being is. And so that's another domain of well-being that is critically important. And here at Gettysburg, we pay attention to that. How do we do it? Well, we do it through a lot of different programs. We have what is called intramurals. Intramurals is our leagues that we set up and we're currently getting ready to start our last round of intramural programs right now. The soccer fields are lined and the soccer nets are up and the soccer balls are all blown up and our students are gonna be heading out there this week beginning intramural soccer. And a league is set up in a way that the teams register for the for their teams um, on IM leagues. And then we set up the schedule and they play each other. And at the end, I'm gonna show you a picture of the championship t-shirt that let me just tell you, people covet those championship t-shirts. Um, right now we have softball coming up. We have outdoor soccer. We have 3v3 volleyball, beach volleyball. Um, we just finished up in the fall. We had uh, flag football. We had, um, we play floor hockey, we'll have dodgeball leagues and um, basketball leagues. Our largest league of all is basketball. We just wrapped that up right before spring break. And one of the all-time fun leagues that we have that students really love is our inner tube water polo league that just wrapped up right before spring break. In the bottom left-hand corner of this slide, you will see our students sitting in those inner tube water um, polo tubes that we have. Um, that program that you see in the lower left-hand corner is actually one of our late night programming where we have the dive-in movie where our students sit in inner tubes and they watch various movies. And I think the movie that we were playing that night was Pirates of the Caribbean. So it went along quite nicely with that cool theme. Our club sport program is growing. It is a strong, amazing program. And it is student run, student led. And when students have an interest, they, um, I'm listening to them and looking forward to having them join and create a new program. 
In fact, this month, we just created a new club sport. The uh, table tennis club sport is jumping on board. We, I also am meeting with a student this week coming up, as a matter of fact, on looking at adding another uh, martial arts club sport program. Currently, we have um, men's and women's rugby. We have ice hockey. We have badminton, ultimate frisbee. We have um, equestrian going on. We have um, Taekwondo and our, fence, our fencing club is getting ready to um, have a bout with Dickinson, which is a college right up uh, the, the street from us. And our rugby programs just had huge tournaments this weekend. So that was a lot of fun and they did, they did fantastic. Our special events are like I shared with you down in the corner there, dive in movies. Um, we just finished a 2v2 late night glow in the dark beach volleyball tournament. And as a matter of fact, while I'm talking right now, what's going on in our what's called Hauser Fieldhouse is a dodgeball tournament going on. And that was a collaborative programming piece that we were working with a sorority and we partnered in them to offer that. We also did pick up sports and they were really strong. Sometimes our students don't always want to sign up for something. They don't want to maybe have a commitment to what's required of a club sport maybe or be even being in an intramural sports program. So we have pickup sports and we'll just offer, hey, we're going to have pickup basketball every Tuesday and Thursday night from seven or eight o'clock at night. And our students will know that if they want to play basketball, they can go and find some others to do some pickup basketball, might be pickup soccer, it could be pickup floor hockey. And we'll just um, have our supervisors there ready and willing to offer the equipment. We actually are one of the largest employers of students on this campus. So if you are looking for a job, by all means, reach out to me because I hire a lot of our students are, um, are running the programs on all of these different areas. We also have open recreation where we just have facilities open and students can just pop in. They don't need to talk to anybody. They can just bring their own basketball or whatever. And we have equipment that you can sign out to and just show up and, and work out on your own if you want. We have student fitness classes where we have a beautiful multi-purpose room and we have such programs like um, high intensity training. We have spinning classes. We have um, Zumba, yoga, meditation, all of those um, different classes are offered in that. And like I shared, collaborative programming, we are constantly, I think if you were to ask any department on this campus, who is welcoming anybody with open arms, it would be our program. If somebody wants to partner in something, we say yes. If they want to have a um, lawn games, we'll provide it. If they want to co-sponsor, we're in. Um, so we're very collaborative. And then our facilities are the state of the art. I am so incredibly proud of our facilities. We have the Jager Center, which you see in the lower left-hand corner. It is magnificent. And especially at night when those, all those lights are on. One of my favorites is in the middle of the winter when you're walking around campus and you can see it. Um, I do, a, I love to run early in the morning and it's often dark. And I will be out and about near the, the Jager Center and I'll be running. And I know my staff is supposed to be opening up that facility at 6.30 in the morning. So I'm looking at my watch and I can see the lights all start coming up. And I'm like, ah, what a great day it's gonna be. We have the Hortensio Fitness Room in there. We have state-of-the-art um, cardio equipment, treadmills and ellipticals. And we have selectorized equipment. We have strength conditioning equipment. We have Plank Gym and Stage is one of my all-time favorite facilities as well. It's our old stage and our old gym, our original gym. So there's a lot of history in there and we use it for intramurals. It smells like an old gym. It has the old beautiful windows in there. And I hope you're coming for Get Acquainted Day and seeing how beautiful um, the Plank Gym is. We also have um, intramural fields, outdoor fields, a lot of fields, tennis courts, Hauser Field House is a multi-purpose room where we can drop three different curtains and we have batting cages and baskets and um, our athletic teams use it as well. We also have uh, Breen Gym is our competition gym 
for our men's and women's basketball and volleyball programs, memorial fields, our pools, our sand volleyball courts. And then we also, believe it or not, are only about 15 minutes away from a ski resort. It's called Ski Liberty. It's the closest ski resort um, next to Washington, D.C. So it's pretty cool. And we take students up there at night and we'll do inner tube um, or um, snow tubing with the students. We'll treat them to hot chocolate. We have um, nightclub cards where students can get passes and go skiing. Our equestrian team competes at a barn that's um, pretty local to our campus. We have ice arenas where our ice hockey team competes and also um, we have bowling as well. And I'd love to share with you before I bring um, Michelle on, I wanna share with you about our championship t-shirt that are, I have seniors that are crying because they've tried for four years to get our championship t-shirts and they, they didn't win. I mean, it's coveted t-shirts and they can only get them when they are the true champion of specific leagues or specific events. The championship t-shirt changes every year, but these are just some examples of championship t-shirts. And then I wanna give a shout out to our intramural program. Our intramural program is ranked the top 25 with the Princeton Review. Now, I know that you would say, oh, that must be the top 25 of small liberal arts colleges. Well, it isn't. It is the top 25 of all colleges and universities in the country. This is again, schools like UVA and Stanford. These are schools like um, William and Mary. We are in the top five Gettysburg College. And I'm so proud of that because we have one of the best intramural programs going and we are ranked by the Princeton Review. You can see from the pictures on this side, you see our sand volleyball court in the lower left-hand corner, soccer going on. Down below, you can see uh, flag football going on, inner tube water polo. And then I love the slide in the top right corner. That was our flag football championships. We got to play on our turf field, um, which was pretty, pretty cool under the light. And that was the championship photo. So you can see how happy they were when they won. So I'm gonna turn it over to Michelle and then I will come back on to show you one more slide of a new event that we are offering that Michelle has been helping me with too. And it is our first annual student well-being program that is happening the beginning of April. So I'll turn it over to you, Michelle. Hello again, everyone. Um, my name is Michelle F. Ohanwadi, and a little bit about my background is that I am an international student from Liberia. Um, so ever since I've been here at Gettysburg College, I've been working in sport medicine. I've been an ambassador for financial well-being. So what I do for financial well-being is that um, we brainstorm uh, campus recreation activities for students that will improve their well-being. And some of, some of my main duties and responsibilities are um, sharing the platform and creating awareness about iGrad, which is a tool on Gettysburg College website that has several topics when it comes to financial well-being. Um, there are topics that like um, budgeting, applying for scholarships, building your credit scores, and just improving your, your network. And there are 15 minutes courses that you can take that can help you keep track of your spendings, um, that can help you um, save for long-term or short-term, and to overall give you a sense of security and freedom. Another cool thing about um, the platform is that there is a course that helps you um, apply for scholarship which I think is very important because as part of financial well-being, many of us students face financial hardships. So having that, that tool available to you know, help you succeed financially in school, I think is very, very important. And this is something that the class of 2026 can really benefit from. 
So working with sport medicine, my essential duties and responsibilities are to check players in when they have appointments with the um, with the uh, training staff. Also, when there are sports like basketball, football, and um, track, I work on the field. I help um, facilitate the game, like look out, give the players water if they are thirsty, and just check in and alert the Atlantic trainers when someone is injured and just focus on, on the game. <laughs> Another um, responsibility that I hold is being a chair committee for the International Student Association. So as an international student, I'm also involved in activities that involve other international students. And what I do is help um, organize meetings and just um, organize activities, carry through the agenda. And the cool part about the international student is Berg Bus. You don't want to miss out on Berg Bus. It's a day when like food from every country, all the international students come together and make food from their own country. We have dances, we have music, we have a lot of cool activities that are unique to your country that you can bring forth to Gettysburg. And fundings from the program goes to charity which is very good. Also, I play intramural rugby, and that is one of the cool sports on Gettysburg College, um, intramurals. And apart from that, I also officiate basketball intramural. So that means if you're playing basketball for intramural, you're gonna see me a lot. And the need to advocate for well-being. Like um, Cindy said earlier, there are many dimensions of well-being uh, that people focus on, but the one that mostly get ignored or forgotten is financial well-being. And financial well-being is very important to everyone's um, everyone's life. And without um, financial well-being, people often do not know where to start. They often lose track of their spendings. They just feel so frustrated and that is just the one piece that is required to make every aspect of well-being good. And every penny comes when every penny matters when it comes to financial well-being. That is why it is very important to make that part, just like you would go to the hospital and make sure you are physically well. Financial well-being is also part of that physical aspect of well-being. So the tool on Gettysburg is called iGrad. All you have to do is log in with your Gettysburg user ID and password. There are many courses you can take, like budgeting, spending, applying for scholarships, and they are about 15 minutes long. And the cool part is that after that courses, you have a satisfied um, work plan that is for you based on your knowledge, and you're also certificated. And there is an option where you can up update your resume. You upload it and you get financial experts update your resume for you. And all of the certificates that you have from watching each of these videos and taking the 15-minute courses, you get satisfied for that. So that is something that you can use to build your resume. Um, so there are several events that we will be having this spring. Uh, one is the iGrad presentation, uh, which is coming up and student well-being fair. So what I will be doing there is just introducing this platform to many people who haven't yet seen it and just creating several programs on campus that will overall make students more involved and just improve their well-being. Michelle, every time I hear you present, I just think you're a rock star. And again, I want to give a shout out to Michelle, and she has really figured out how to become really engaged in the campus environment. Like I shared with you earlier, we offered, it was our first year ever of offering a voluntary position to a student that would become a student financial well-being ambassador. And Michelle came to us and said, sure, I'll do it. I want to help students with their overall financial health. Um, she was not being paid. She took time out of her day to do that. One of the um, career engagement advisors is on that committee. And so we are working with Michelle to help connect her with other alums uh, that have graduated from Gettysburg to, as a way to say thank you. But 
I was so impressed with Michelle and her work ethic and her involvement that in fact, I hired her to come into our program and start spreading the word even more with well-being overall. And so before we wrap up, I wanted to um, share with you, and I hope I will be able to um, pull this one slide up. So forgive me if I don't do it correctly, but I wanna share with you. Okay, can you all see this? Um, Michelle, can you give me a thumbs up if you can see the first annual student well-being fair slide? Do you see that? Katie, can you see that well-being slide? Yep. Great, okay. Sometimes I can't always tell because it's a small screen. I just wanted to share this. This is an example of a program that we have coming up April 6th, and we are doing the first ever annual student well-being fair. And I am thrilled to say we have been able to get the seeing eye dog puppies to come to talk about their program because we recognize that Many times, I know that you have all heard how stressful it has been in high school, in, actually in the world, right? It's not just if you're in high school, it's not just if you're in higher ed. In the world, the pandemic has really put some of us upside down. And we recognize how important well-being is for our students and their overall mental health. And we recognize by giving to others and understanding how you can reach out to others and make a difference and helping can really help with your well-being. Well, the Seeing Eye Dog Puppy Program is going to be coming to our campus as are about 10 different other areas on campus sharing with our students the resources that are available to them. So our counseling center will be there. Our peer educators that are counselors will be there. These are students that have been trained to talk one-on-one -on -one with peers about good mental health. We have our student success office will be there. We have our uh, recreational um, Gettysburg uh, GLC that's going to be there. Garthwaite Leadership Center will be there. Um, we also have a HIT class going on, uh, Qigong and some spinning classes. We have tons of food, servo cookies, which are the highlight for our students here on campus. We have a really cool t-shirt that people are going to get when they show up and come and some well-being baskets. So that's really important to us that we are not just saying we care about your well-being. We are saying that we are doing things to help with your overall well-being. So I see that there are some questions in the Q&A that we are going to answer for you. And our contact information is up there. And before we end tonight, um, Katie's gonna come back on again to talk to you about some other really neat things that are going on with admissions. So when it comes to some questions, here's one. Are there areas open to running on campus outside? Oh my goodness. It's absolutely beautiful. In fact, I have complete access. Obviously I oversee the Jager Center, but you know what? I'm out there running on our battlefields every day. They are breathtaking. You are, the campus sits with the battlefields all around it. And so you, the peace site is half a mile up the road. And that's my run every day going to the peace site and um, looking down on our campus. Um, just a small plug, if you've never seen the movie, A Thousand to One, go and rent it on Netflix. It's called A Thousand to One. And it's a story about a boy, it's a true story. I had him in class um, teaching in health science. Corey Weissman is his name. And a lot of the footage is, well, all the footage takes place around Gettysburg and you'll see how beautiful it is. Um, will admitted students get to be part of the student well-being fair? Absolutely. Um, anyone that's here on campus, come over and be part of that fair. Um, all are welcome. You'll have great food. And um, of course, where can we access those courses? Oh, great. Um, when you get admitted, to Gettysburg, you are going to get a Gettysburg College ID or um, email address. And if you go to the admissions webpage, which you know where it is, go on the left navigation of the admissions website and you will see 
financial well-being, the left navigation. Click on that and you will see the tool iGrad and you will be able to sign up for that tool now before you even get to Gettysburg. And the cool thing is, is that iGrad is offering a thousand dollar monthly challenge from now until I think probably August. So you can go in and uh, sign up for that $1,000 um, monthly challenge, answer a few questions. But like Michelle said, there's scholarship searches. There's really cool courses. Michelle is going to be doing a course this week on Budgeting 101. Every course that Michelle offers, it's packed. I, I mean, it is packed. It's it, like people are standing in the doorway trying to get in. So you're going to be so lucky because Michelle is only a first year. So she's going to be a great mentor to you when you come to Gettysburg. Um, what is a new martial art going to be? Um, uh, Jiu-Jitsu. And um, so I am sending it over to our risk manager. As a matter of fact, I communicated with the um, student on Friday. We had a meeting and I'm sending it over to our uh, risk manager because we offer all of our club sports at a very high level and we make sure that they are safe. And so we always ask our risk manager if we have to have a paid coach or not. And are there any special regulations that we have to offer when we do any martial arts, um, especially if you're gonna be hitting. As you can imagine with um, rugby, um, I'm glad Michelle plays rugby. I'm always like biting my fingernails with rugby. Um, but they, but we offer, you know, everyone's been taught how to play safely, but we do offer making sure that risk management is at the top of our concern. In fact, if you, if you talk about Gettysburg College, we're probably known at a very high level for our risk managing management protocols. So those are some questions I see from the chat. Are there any other um, questions here? Let's see. Anything else? Any other questions you all have? I'm just so excited to meet you. This is my favorite time of year. Um, and I, I wonder, Katie, if they, if they learn about, for me, the most powerful thing, and, um, and I've had daughters that have come to Gettysburg and have graduated, is your class flag. And when you come to Gettysburg, your class flag has your year that you are graduating and it is flying above our cupola. And the day that you are graduating, that flag is flying again. And it's a beautiful tradition. It makes me um, pretty emotional when I see that class flag going up, but we're, we're super excited to welcome you all to Gettysburg. Yes, thank you so much. Please, if you have any other questions, we do have time to take some more, but I just wanna thank you for coming everyone. Thank you to Cindy and Michelle. You guys were absolutely amazing. This is being recorded, so you will still have access to this after this. Um, and this is a great, great slide. Please use the QR code that is right there. Um, it'll take you right to the Accepted Student webpage and has all the links for other events on and off um, campus, so on campus and on virtual platforms like this. Um, we also have a Facebook group just for the class of 2026. We have an Instagram, please use hashtag GBurg2026. Um, and we also have a Spotify account as well. So please, please, please follow us on all of those things. It would be great to see all of you there. Um, and, oh, I see some more questions, Cindy. So if you would like to take them. Ones, uh, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so kind. Thank you. Someone just said, someone said thank you, and I thank you for coming. Is there an indoor running track too? Yes, there is an indoor running track in our Hauser Fieldhouse. We have an indoor track that our our track team actually uses, and um, it's it's beautiful. Yep, there is an indoor track. Other questions? Any other questions?
Well, again, thank you. Thank you so, so much for uh, coming and congratulations again on your acceptance to the class of 2026. And we hope that you are making a great decision and come to Gettysburg. Um, but also we wish you well um, on any decision that you make um, for your college decision. But thank you again for all of you that came. And then thank you again to Cindy and Michelle. Thank you all so much. We're very grateful. And we can't wait to welcome you to the Berg.